Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the top 7 excuses every Magic the Gathering cheater will use. And this was inspired by a video where someone is defending themselves from cheating and making cheating seem like it's acceptable and everyone does it. So here are the top 7 reasons. 1. I'm sloppy. So a lot of professional players who get caught for cheating, they say that they are sloppy and they just messed up. They drew too many extra cards, they have too many cards in hand, but if you're sloppy, we should be able to see video of you doing, you not drawing that many cards, you drawing instead of two cards, you drew one card. It always seems that the I'm sloppy cheat is always I'm sloppy when it helps me. But if you're actually sloppy, then you would do the same, you would have a negative impact to yourself sometimes, you would forget a land, you would not be able to tap a permanent correctly, and you may forget a card draw step. But it always seems like people draw more cards and not less. Next, I'm tired, I just played 16 rounds, get off my back. Well, your opponent who's in the top 8 with you also played the same number of games you played. Everyone in the top 8 is tired. That is a crazy excuse because the same number of rounds that you played when you were cheating is this and tired is the same number of rounds that your opponents have played. So what are you trying to say? Everyone in the top eight is really tired and everyone's going to draw extra cards? I don't think so. Next, I don't know my deck. Now this might make sense for draft, although at the higher level, if you make a top eight, you probably know the draft format a little bit if the top eight is a draft. And yes, in standard, there's some kind of weird, like the vehicle interactions, I've always found that kind of strange. But if it's modern or legacy and you are known for that deck and you play the deck over and over again, how can you confuse cards in your deck when you've played hundreds of games with it? You, I don't know my deck. Fourth, I need the money. And this is an excuse I hear at a local level where people are just playing for random janky FNM promos in store credit. If you need the money, you can probably get a part-time job. You can maybe get a full-time job and do magic as a hobby. If you're in it to make money, you should not, you should A, not be cheating and B, really not be playing pro magic. Pro magic is not like League of Legends. It's not even like the Overwatch League, which is building up now. There's not much money in it. Number five, this only happened once. And this drives me crazy. It would be like if we caught someone stealing, and we caught them stealing, and they were like, oh, this only happened once, so I never steal. I, I don't steal. I, I don't know how I got caught. I, this only happened once. I only killed that dude once. I've gone outside thousands of times and I've never shot anyone. I've only killed this dude once. So clearly it was not intentional. It was a mistake. I've only got caught cheating once. Well, yes, but if you got caught cheating and it's on video, the video evidence, so let me go ahead and say this. Video evidence of someone cheating is, in my opinion, and this is completely wrong, but it's 90% of people will feel this way, is more conclusive than when you hear about a DQ from Wizards of the Coast. It's the same issue with Ray Rice and domestic violence. Once the video comes out, it's over for Ray Rice. But somebody named Hardy, I forget what his name was, Hardy, he played for the Dallas Cowboys. There was no video. We all kind of knew he probably did it and was a domestic. I mean, the guy's behavior was just outrageous. But Jerry Jones from the Dallas Cowboys was like, okay, Greg Hardy, that is his name. Join my team, right? Ray Rice, nope. No one looked at him even after coaches said, I think Tony Dungy, who was a really nice guy, said, oh, he's changed. His wife came out to say he's changed. But there was a video. You can draw your own conclusion for video. Number six, would I really cheat when I know I'm on camera? The, the question here is, how many times do you cheat when you were not on camera? and wasn't caught. The, the problem is when you're cheating and you just cheat, 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 you grow a certain habit. Um, you grow a certain interaction. You do certain things that you do 
and even when you're on camera and you realize you're being recorded, it kind of the concept that I would never cheat because I'm on camera, but I just got caught cheating. That's, that to me is insanity, right? That's insane to say something like that. Uh, but anyway, and number seven, I'm not cheating. And this happens when there's no cameras, when there's no judge, and when you tell your opponent, hey, I think you drew an extra card. And your opponent's like, nope, I did not. Can we count your cards? Nope, I'm not going to. This behavior is really, it's all about accountability to yourself, accountability to each other. Uh, it is very sad, the state of the game right now and how many excuses someone can make from I'm sloppy, I'm tired, I don't know my deck very well, I need the money right now. This only happened once, so who cares? Uh, why would I cheat when I'm on camera? And then I'm not cheating when they clearly are cheating. So leave me a description below of your, fa your favorite incidents when a cheater clearly has an excuse that makes no sense but they, they are going to live and die by it. Um, I mean, I've heard I'm sloppy. I've heard I'm tired. I heard I don't know my deck. I've heard I need the money today. I've heard this only happens once, so I'm not a cheater. I've only been caught once, so clearly I'm not a cheater. Uh, why would I cheat when I'm on camera or being viewed by multiple players? And I'm not cheating. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.